what, what, what a lot of people don't know is Cat's a hypocrite because Cat done stole jokes. Mm. One of his most popular jokes on one of his specials, he took from JB Smooth. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. When do you think about, like, even Taraji? Because, you know, the other day we were talking about, you know, the color purple. She did the color purple. But she came out on um, on that interview and was talking about the pay for black females and how she's been underpaid and how she failed and so forth. Um, what? And you've been in the industry somewhat. What do you feel about what she said? You know, that was part of my thing that I tied into the Kevin, uh, the Cat Williams mm -hmm. situation. You know, and listen, I, I, I mean, I know you want to jump into that. No, but let's just, just go on and do what you do, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is, this, is a, this is a thing where I, when I first seen it, I mean, he, did, he, he slid across the board on everybody. He didn't leave nobody out when he was talking about people that he had done, evidently had some type of encounter with over the years, you right. know. So I, I felt like, okay, when he got it off, I, I already know how he is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I know the. But he don't talk a lot. He ain't just getting on no big platforms or doing podcasts. So when they hit, I didn't expect it to do what it did. But that thing went crazy, man. Yeah, you know, listen, and I'm 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 catching flack for it like a motherfucker on my page. You know, yeah. it's like I'm 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 Scarface at the end of the movie where I'm on the balcony <laughs> with a thousand Colombians trying trying to shoot at me. You know what I mean? But I I, I stand on what I said, and and you know I I know I feel like honestly part of the reason why people are upset or, or there's the backlash is because they see themselves in that mirror that I'm pointing in a direction. Yeah. You know, my original point was, you know, listen, there's a reason why the saying exists within the black community, crabs in a barrel. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and slavery has done such a number on us that, you know, rather than just come together the way that we should for the betterment of us, this is what we do. We mm -hmm. love drama. We love gossip. We love this bullshit. And my whole point was, and still is, this is a news cycle. Mm -hmm. And when people say things like protect cat at all costs, and he's the GOAT, and I, and I said on my post, everybody is the GOAT to their fan base. And I'm not going to dilute him being your GOAT. If that's your GOAT, I applaud it. He's a talented motherfucker. He's one of the best in the game. So I can understand that subjective Feeling, but you said Richard Pryor is the goat. Right? He's the goat. But goat talk aside, my thing was when you go protect him at all costs. Mm. Let's have some perspective. He didn't turn the world on his access. He's not curing cancer. He's not curing AIDS. He's not solving racism. He's not solving black poverty. So when you say protect him, what are we? What are you protecting him about? And you go, well, he told his truth. All right, but how did his truth help you? Mm -hmm. How did his truth change your life? How did his truth change anything? All those people he talked about, they still gonna get their bread. They still gonna have their fan base. They still gonna work. People still gonna respect them and adore them. What was the purpose of that? My thing is this, why not use that mouthpiece and that platform and that energy for the betterment of us? So now you got beef with all these people, you've given them reasons to not like you over what? A, who stole the joke? And I was telling my man that drove me down here, what, what, what a lot of people don't know is Cat's a hypocrite because Cat done stole jokes. Mm -hmm. One of his most popular jokes on one of his specials, he took from JB Smooth. Mm. So everybody's stolen jokes. Right. But again, finger pointing and talking shit, how does that help us? Now, when you look at Taraji P. Henson and you go, and she's not the only one that's complained, Viola Davis. Monique. Monique, her... Look at all our black actresses, Gabrielle Union, Regina Hall. Mm -hmm. They all face that problem. So why not go, instead of beefing, Kevin Cat, let's do a movie together. Mm -hmm. Let's hire those black actresses. Let us and the black community and black Hollywood come together and form like Voltron so that we can do what white folks do without needing white folks. You know, it's like, why do we have to uh, wait for them to give us our flowers on their Oscars or, or their Emmys or their Golden Globes? Where's our own award shows? We've been too separated for too long. And this is what we talk about. Yeah, but a new I, cycle. I, I, but because she stepped out and said what she said, 50 Cent reached out to her and wanted to work with her and trying to help her to get that bag, a bigger bag than what she's ever gotten. Mm -hmm. Because he even said, you know, because I think people thought that he was joking around when he said what he said. He came back and said, look at what I got for Mary J from Stars because of me. I can do that for her. Yeah. Okay, but 
Why are we waiting for her to come to tears? We should have been done this. You know, they that, that studio called DreamWorks mm -hmm. that's made up of uh, David Geffen, uh, uh, Eisenberg, and Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Where is our DreamWorks? Yeah, we got Tyler Perry, but that's all we got. That's all we got. We got, we got billionaires. We got Oprah. We got Jay-Z. We got Michael Jordan. Robert we, Smith. We got Magic Johnson. Robert Smith. When are we going to come together so that we can build our own empire to amass our own wealth and then take that money and funnel it back into our communities so that we could be like Tulsa, Oklahoma again before the massacre and the riots and the murders. That's true. Why, why are we focused on a, a, a gossip high school type beef over jokes when we got black women in our industry crying about unfair treatment and pay? But, what are we doing? But you can't... I got to be the devil's advocate because you've had beefs or different situations with different people that you've said this or that about, whether it be whoever, Faison, all y'all back and right. forth, all y'all have done. You and Mike, I seen the thing where you was just joking and y'all had a little joking back and forth, you know, dear. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that's the way, I, looking from the outside, looking in, it's like all of y'all are comedians and y'all have all had y'all day, you know, where y'all went back and forth with each other. He just came out and just slid across everything that he ever thought he had an issue with. Okay, but what did it change? How did it move the needle? How did it move us forward? And, 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 and if people really paid attention to my post, I said in the post, yes, I'm guilty of doing the same thing, yeah. but I'm also 45. I'm tired of being a 45 year old, 15 year old. Yeah. At what point do we grow up? Grow up. That's real. But what you saying agree. that? But what you saying that? I look at um, a different perspective of it. Um, I hear a lot of people say the reason why I do stand up comic. Yes, it's also to make people laugh, but it's also it's my cheaper way of having therapy. Instead of going to a therapist, I come out here and tell all my business, all everything that I go through, and, and laugh about it. I get it off my chest. That's what rappers do. They put in their music and just let it out. So in my mind, he's been holding all of this for so long. So when he came on, it didn't benefit nobody. But for him letting it go to the world, maybe that helped him mentally. I don't buy that for one bit. <laughs> maybe. I, don't buy that for one I was bit. looking at it from the other end. It's not be good, though. Yeah, that, that's, 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 listen, we all have egos. What? We're entertainers, and entertainers have egos. Mm -hmm. You have to have a little bit of an ego mm -hmm. to make it in this business because there's a certain amount of belief you absolutely have to have within yourself because this business is designed to strip you of your 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 confidence mm -hmm. and your and felt in, in your worth. So in order to fight that, yeah, you gotta be a little arrogant. But but I believe most of that is ego driven. Mm -hmm. Most of that is ego driven. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah we on boss talk one on one. Yeah we gonna talk